A family of sorts in Kennebec Valley is looking to grow into a new home, and they're really excited about it. New Center Maine's Hannah Deneen explains. It's a family. It's a family. That's like all I can say. It's a larger than average family in Gardner, made up of thousands of kids and dozens of adults. All this place is in my soul. This place, the Boys and Girls Club of Kennebec Valley. But it seems it really has nothing to do with the place. It is the people. The core foundation for our Boys and Girls Club, all of us have been here decades. It's just in my heart. I don't, I don't view it as a place. For club kid Juliana Montel, it's a support system. They've been my shoulder to cry on and they've comforted me when I want to feel sorrow. And it's there for parents as well. A big percentage of the kids in the teen center right now have a single mom. Parents rely on us, you know, when they're up against a tough situation. Because this support system, this family, exists beyond its old and tiring home, it makes farewells quite easy. I'm ready to say goodbye. It has served me well. This gray, mossy colored building in Gardner has housed the Boys and Girls Club of Kennebec Valley since 1953. Today, club leaders say it's wooden frames, cement slab base, and aging utilities would cost six to seven million dollars to renovate. To try to repair anything, we are just throwing good money into this building that, you know, you can't find the right parts, things have to be retrofitted. So they didn't. Rather, in 2008, they launched a campaign to raise $10 million for a new facility. More than a decade later, they've nearly met that goal. I'll be really glad to open a state-of-the-art building that all the you know, the heat isn't pouring out the windows. A new home where hundreds more kids will grow up, be taught, fed, and cared for a community its kids will claim forever. Once a club kid, always a club kid. In Gardner, Hannah Deneen, New Center, Maine. Today, the Boys and Girls Club is $625,000 away from its $10 million goal. We have ways that you can donate on our website and our mobile app. The club hopes to begin building soon and ultimately finish the new facility by fall of 2022.